Hello everyone, uh, Burton's back, we're playing as Calf once again, we're going to continue our expansion. Um, last time we were mainly consolidating, we were trying to get rid of a few internal problems as well as get ourselves a couple of claims. Now we did a successful slave raid, rage, rage? raid in Ashabad, and now we're going to continue and see what else we can get out of this situation. Now I think one of the things that we'll probably have to go ahead and do first is start with our expansions. It's been a while since we've done a colony. The two that we have done are really coming to fruition now. They should start building levy fairly soon. Um, I say fairly soon, we're still waiting for them to uh, come to fruition. I don't really want to spend another lot of money, another thousand potentially to start another colony until these two are fully up and running. So that's what we're waiting on in regards to that. With ourselves, we've had a quick look at our vassals last time, and we can see it's the usual people who we have marked as special interest that we're going to be keeping an eye on. And mainly, it's the princes. The princes of the 13, the Tourmaline Brotherhood and the Spices. Each and every one of them are being watched very, very closely. Fortunately for us, our legion loyalists are more than outnumbering anyone who wants to either lower the crown authority, which is not going to happen. In fact, I'm very tempted just to put it up, just to spite them, but we're not going to. We could go ahead and raise uh, taxation, we're not going to, we want to grow. So in order for us to grow, we're going to have to keep on generating the revenue. As you can see, our monthly balance is going up nicely, about 10 or 11 gold, and that's not bad considering the outlay that we actually have. Right, so let's have a look where we're at. So Taganaria, she was in Hoshbrook, which as we know was here in Lazoshlands. So we're trying to expand into this range now. We would have an option very soon, probably with new gifts. Um, however, I'm not overly keen on uh, attacking King Gradsam. We can declare war and it's a slave raid on Bone Coast. Let's have a quick look at him. 26,000 men, so any slave raid there is not going to be the wisest of moves. I prefer to attack him once we've only got um, a few claims perhaps, and then we can take things that way. I'd much rather progress down into Pharos. I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't be too long before we can go ahead and uh, do another slave raid down there. Now, it's quite unfortunate in a way that... Uh, we haven't been able to get ourselves claims as fast as we like. One of the good things is, when we took the region here, we are very much on our way to building the levy back to its maximum. And we're going to be keeping a hold of this, because as you can see, look how many people that gets us. Under, just under 8,000 heavy infantry. That's great. Could be better though. What would the castle town get us? Two income. Now, uh, it looks like one of the spices has died. So we can either do two income, or we can do a smart thing. That would increase the garrison size by 5%. Um, oh, my daughter appears impulsive. She's unable to tell right from wrong. I'll give her a pat on the head. I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, so what would 5% garrison size? Wouldn't it be too bad, considering it's 9,000 at the moment. Um, is it worth 225? No, not at this very moment, it's not. If anything, we are only going to be improving the places that we are um, we wanting. A husband and wife musical couple have arrived from this. Their performance ranges from vulgar satires, sounds interesting, to political surveillance, and everything in between, including songs and poems of courtly love. Well, um, forget the freaking poems. Um, I remember these two, they came last year. Oh my god. I'll tell you what. Do a poem. A vulgar poem, and uh, that sounds interesting to me. Yeah, so a vulgar poem, that would be very nice. Thank you. And there we go. So by asking for a vulgar poem, uh, we've gained ourselves a little bit of learning. Uh, unfortunately, we're still depressed. It's not very good. We are trying to get ourselves a son. Our intrigue focus, we can't change. Um, but as soon as we can, we are going to change that. We are going to go all out seduction. We are going to put rose petals on my wife's bed. We are gonna burn all the moon tea so nothing can happen we except for we're gonna have a son if she needs to stand on her head for a fortnight after the deed she can go ahead and do so a son is what we are gonna have and any moment now here we go 
There we go, there's the six. Right, so we want seduction. So fertility plus 12.5 and sex appeal. Are you saying I wasn't sexy? What's going on? Let's try that. Oh, hang on, why can we not change it? Yes. Oh, darn it. Does not have the... T oh, are, we, are we chased? Oh, bloody hell. Right. That doesn't help us. Right, so we've got the option now for... No, I don't care. So we could try family, I suppose. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. It's the only other thing that's going to get us some fertility. Right, okay, let's try it. You never know. My uh, my heir, my brother, might die. Um, and then who would it be? Would it be um, Arifan, probably, my nephew? He actually wants to get married. Shall we go ahead and get you married? Go on, Arifan. Uh, we can marry him to my daughter, which would be a little bit weird. A little bit too close for comfort. Um, we're going to go ahead and give you... <sighs> Should we give him someone ugly? Give him Sorella? No, I think not. Right, we will give you... Malaria. She's a courtier. She's a poor fighter. So you can have your way with her. There we go. Get married, nephew. Right. Anything else going on here? So, known plots have dropped down quite a bit. Um, and it looks like Viserion is still causing havoc. What have you done? We need to, we need to do something. So Prince Vagon of Marine, what have you done? He's actually he's actually maimed. It looks like he's tried to do something with the dragon, it's not quite worked. Poor lad. Peace be with you, understand, um, and we've accepted. Okay, brilliant, we'll take that. So Bashabat, it's been a while since we declared a slave raid, and oh, we've got the Sand Road. If we win the war, um, it'll be sacked. Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We have to keep our troops motivated after all. So we're going to go ahead and pull up 2,200 from these. And 1,900. Um, who have we got there? They've got 9,000. You know what? You're a friend of ours. You would support us. So we're not going to call up your men just this moment. What can they actually pull up? Let's see. They should still be a little bit problematic from last 11,000 they can pull up okay well we'll see how we get on with these four if need be we can always uh, call up another three and a half but I'm not gonna do that what's about you guys what have we got here another 2,000 we're still rebuilding troops in the capital so we're not gonna try and touch the troops directly under ourselves in terms of other things what else is worthwhile doing Hmm. I think we're just going to actually see how this plays out with this small selection of troops that we're sending up here. We're not going to overextend, we're going to do just enough in order to uh, get ourselves some slaves to sell. Because right now I think we can actually sell some more. Yeah, so we do get an option and then we'll probably be able to get another 400 gold. That would be quite nice. We might use that in order to get ourselves something else. A rather heated discussion between myself and the stable master caught Yina's attention, and after listening to us both, she settled the matter between me and the stable master in a fair way. I got the horse, the stable master got the coin. Okay. I would say thank you, Yina, but uh, I could have dealt with that, I was quite confident. Time to choose how I want to educate a slave. I don't. That's, that's my decision. Well, in all honesty, I could be putting money into educating the slaves so that way when they breed, they might be able to come up with slightly better children. But you know what? I'm going for quantity over quality. The more I have, the more I'll sell, the more money we'll make, and then in turn, the more we can expand. So, Lotho, you're going to be our chief general. We're going to send you over there. And we'll go ahead. We're only going to have one flank. Oh, we've got another slave. Brilliant. So we're doing okay right now. It's not going too bad. Now, we did say it's going to take us a good while. And um, the plan is simple. We are going to probably take over Ashabad. Maybe by Ashabad as well. And that's probably where we're going to stop there. I don't think we're going to go any further north. Um, these guys are going to act as a buffer against uh, the Dothraki 
horse lord. And, um, and then we're going to push this way. We're going to start. We've said many a time now we're not going to be doing anything against GT. Um, they're too strong. And it's just it's just good how they are not aggressive at all right now. That's probably because he's called the Orange Emperor. I don't know what that means. Um, he's a slave owner, so he must like us a little bit. Foreign religion and crew. Yeah, well, you know. Let's have a look here. Oh, it doesn't actually explain much at all. Right, so that's what's actually going on. Um, now, because we are currently here, is it worthwhile us doing anything else? Um, to be honest, not really. There's not a lot for us to do. We can revoke a lordship of Faris if we want, or we can kill my wife, which we're not going to. Alright, so what have you got? You're 57 years old and you want me to pay for this? No. I fear my daughter is too cynical for her age. Well, let's have a look at this. So I'm cruel, so I fear nothing. You're clear sighted. You're clear sighted. So she's coming along, um, uh, okay, she could be a lot better. Nothing's happening in Lazarus, I'm a little bit worried that this is taking too much time. In fact, is there anyone who would actually be better in the position? No. 18 is about as good as we're going to get. She's getting on a bit right now, so I think we may abandon this very soon. She's been trying for a while now and nothing's actually coming to fruition. In the meantime, we're waiting too long. I think it might be worthwhile as either going on to take out Caravana. But you know what, that's not really a prime target. Look at look at the levy in the garrison. Maybe not. And we've got another slave, brilliant. It looks like our armies are about to take the sand roads as planned. Victory, so we've taken the sand roads. Dotterina started breaking the rules of games she plays with other children. Apparently she thinks winning is more important than fair play. My daughter learns very quickly. There we go. So I'm actually um, quite happy she's become a little ruthless girl. Um, she's only at, what, eight years old. She's not married to anyone. My wife Seralia has complained about me being absent so often, so when I found some extra gold to spend I decided to buy something nice, maybe some sort of jewellery, so that's five. Right, we're gonna go Ruby. No reason we're going Ruby, because we're trying to buy ourselves a son. So we got some victory there, that's increased the war score up to 24, and we're gonna continue to besiege it. It's only a tempo left now, that shouldn't last too long at all, and then we'll see where we go from there. Victory, so 31%. So we're going to move them closer into Vasiliad lands. <coughs> We've got quite a large garrison, 5,000. We may have to call for reinforcements after all, um, but who would the reinforcements be sent from? There's only 1,000 there. Let's see how we actually get on first. In fact, we'll go ahead and call you guys up. Unfortunately, there's not enough ships. Um, who's this? My Corsair, I have no time for you. You go there, we'll disband you guys. There we go, right, get on the boat. I will send them straight up here. Oh, in fact, we've got enough men, that's good. We'll send you up just in case. Disband the fleets, please. Brilliant, okay. So, um, while that's all happening, let's pick ourselves a new target. Well, Azarash lands is not going well. Do we go for the Bone Coast? Do we start pressing into new Gis? It might be an idea, then we can be a coastal empire. Or do we go south? Do we go to Pharos? Pharos is a much smaller prize, but it would be easier to take. Now, I'm not one for, for easiness. That's something a little bit interesting. Port Morak. You're a lot stronger than I thought, Port Morak. I like that. Let's go for them. So obviously right now we're trying to cherry pick the places that we're going for. We want them to be fairly strong. Like for example, Zabad's there. Wow, they're not too bad either. 
So the whole idea of it is we can hold on to four pieces of land essentially. I want every one of the four pieces of land to be really strong. That way if we ever have any problems, we've got our own men that we know that we can depend on. Speaking of depending on, might be worthwhile if we put someone in charge of this. We're going to give it to Zaro. I'm going to send him straight over. Who are you guys and what are you doing? Oh, it's the army of the warlocks, that's fine. As long as it's an internal battle, I'm okay with that. Now, I still haven't married my eldest daughter. It might be time to do that. Um, I mean, the top person is a courtier. The only reason why we haven't done this before is because it's going to cost us. This one isn't too bad. 12 years old, I think we're going to do that. Let's try and do it match and nail. No, they say no. Well, we can't do that then. Not until we have a son. I'm going to save it. If we have a son, that's fine. Then we'll go ahead and get to a married match and nail. But for now, no, we're not going to marry my oldest daughter off like that. If only Mathos would have lived. But unfortunately, he died stillborn. That's what she tells me anyway. In fact, it wasn't even her. It was a liar, yeah. Well, she was a lunatic, so God knows what happened there. It looks like reinforcements are going to arrive very soon in Bayashabat. And then that's hopefully going to be another one over. We're going through quite a lot of slave wars, which is good. It means we're getting used to mobilising our forces, getting them together, and uh, just thrusting them at our enemy. You never know. Sooner or later, we might actually find someone who is uh, going to be a challenge for us. Speaking of challenges, we haven't looked over here at Nar for a while. We thought about actually going ahead and uh, killing someone. Is it really worth it? What is the uh, what are they like over there? Not very good. And he does have an air who has children. If we kill the heir, we'll revert to one of the children. If we kill the children, it'll probably revert to no one. He doesn't like us, so it's only going to be a matter of time before he goes ahead. He doesn't like us. Foreign conqueror usurped my title, how dare you? We'll see. Oh, we've had another slave child. That is good. Uh, Taliba has arrived at our court. I'll take that. Oh, there we go, the reinforcements have arrived, let's merge them all together. They're holding out for a long time, which is fine. Um, I like that. I've discovered another plot to try to buy someone's loyalty. When you put an end to that, I've got other things to attend to, such as this. Yes, fate smiles upon me, Sarala is pregnant. Please, please be a boy. We gain five prestige. We're gonna have to wait nine months before we find out what we've got. If it's a little boy, we're okay. We're gonna throw everything we can at him. Oh no, well my court is caught grayscale. Um, it seems the Undying Ones do not favour her. That is not good. Who's she married to? Methios. Um, can we get rid of you somehow? Um, firstly, stop breathing. We don't want you to start spreading that. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and... Shh, shh, don't tell them. Uh, try and sell her. Time to do business. Um, yeah, no, no, she's really good. Honestly, I tell you, um, she's um, she's cruel and um, selfish. Uh, she's greedy. She's craving. Oh, she's humble. She's got a good trait. She's humble. Um, go on, guys. Shh. Yes, yes, she she will be good for your household. That is brilliant. Yeah. Well, you know what? I did want. 200 gold for her, but you know what? Me, 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 and you, me and you are close. Obviously, we're so close. That 15 gold is fine. 15 gold it is. Right, so there we go. We um, hopefully have avoided a uh, grayscale outbreak. <laughs> um, and maybe, maybe we might have just started one somewhere else. But uh, yeah, 15 gold for someone with grayscale. That is taking some business savvy. I tell you that now. Um, speaking of savviness, uh, the savviness of the commander of uh, 
of this uh, Bayasha bar. He's doing okay holding out. He won't be able to last out forever though. Um, let's have a look to the north. Samiriana. Samiriana, wow. They actually have some strength themselves. 2,000. What can you actually pull up all together? 11. That's not a lot. Considering the three provinces, the other two are weak. If you take the one, the other one will fall. And we've got the Great Sand Roads. The Great Sand Roads is... I didn't see that before. It's actually working as a little bit of a natural buffer there. You know what? That might be something to have a look at way down the line. Right now we're gonna focus on uh, taking this place down here, Port Marak. And see how we got on. Um, we're slowly increasing our prestige. Um, obviously, if we have a son, we can then. Um, oh, you're giving your. Why oh, are you giving your toy away? Um, she will lose the. Or she will gain the trait, greedy. You know what? I think. There was a 10% chance, would she have it? No, she's got charitable, she's fine. I think sometimes it's good to be greedy, especially if you're in our business. In the centre of Macrosh stands a ruin of a particular interest. It was once a great amphitheatre, where plays and feats of skill were once performed, and now the crumbling building is only a sad reminder of a once great city. Perhaps we should restore it. How much? 350. So it would improve our diplomacy and general opinion. Um, we'll go ahead and do it. That's in my crush. Where's my crush? That's this one, isn't it? I've gone blind. Oh no, it's this one. It's the one we've already got our guy in. That's fine. You're overseeing the construction, I take it. Uh, there's nowhere for us to improve. No, nope, not a problem. So that's one of the ones we're actually keeping hold of. It's on our... Uh, it's on one of our borders, so I like to have a bit of land over here on the border just in case. And it's a good job we didn't go ahead and start backing one of these two, because, uh... Ooh, Violet's Tororo. Might be something to have a look at here. Yeah, it's a good job we didn't start backing one of those two straight away, because we would have been out of money. We've had victory, we're up to 49%. Uh-oh, bad news, I do not feel well. Um, I think we should call for the Warlocks. Let's get the Warlocks out. I'm depressed. I'm in bed. I'm not happy. I, I, I just don't want to die. I just don't want to. Hurry up and take this. News news of taking this land will make me feel much better. I am sure of it. I'm almost positive. And where's my wife? I Have this child. Quickly. Have this boy child. There we go, 61%. We are going away at it right now. And finally, it just looks like it's a temple. And once we take this temple, that should hopefully increase the score enough. I don't think it will though. I think we're going to have to head up here. Any time, let's go. So 476 of the defenders, we've still got four and a half thousand or so. We've lost over a thousand men taking these pieces of land, but that's what you can expect. Look where we are. We're in the middle of we're in the middle of a wasteland essentially. Ah oh, After all that, another daughter. We're gonna call her Shy. Sure, she's uh, based on a character I once read about in a book. You might have heard of her. Shy South was her name. There are two peasant families in Carf who have been locked in a bitter feud for generations. The conflict has now escalated to the point where it's even discussed in circles of nobility. Although it's far beneath my notice, it could be a golden opportunity to practice my diplomacy. Let's sponsor, sponsor a meeting, shall we? And then when they arrive, we'll kill them both. Um, you have invited the two feuding families to a local inn, hoping to reach some kind of agreement. The peasants are seated at two opposing tables. One cup is a live chicken? Um, 
let go of the chicken. This petty feud cannot continue. What do you suppose would happen if great noble houses fought each other as you do, instead of working together for the common good? You must learn from our shining example, and then they just shout me down. I barely have time to judge the chicken. Someone hurls my way with a howl. The two families leap over the tables and throw themselves at each other. I'm caught in the middle. Clothes torn and covered in bruises, I eventually manage to crawl out of the inn as the fighting continues. I actually improved. That was an utter disaster, but I managed to learn something from it. And to think I tried that when I was ill as well, eh? Who knows? So we're still continuing, this has taken a very long time here. Merchant Prince has died in his bed, that's okay, we've got a new important decision. Now we can go ahead and try and employ the Golden Company, we're not going to do that. Or we can demand important prisoners, so who are these important prisoners? Who are you sir? We surrender under these terms. Great Father, Benden. So Goris has captured him. That's fine. Oh, we'll go ahead, we'll accept it. You get back over here. Well done, Goris. You've done well there. And we could have asked him to transfer them over to us. You know what? But he deserves to make his own money. So we've got ourselves another slave raid victory. And that's where we're going to end up with this episode here. So right now we're keeping the blades of our army sharp. We're continuing to practice in preparation for taking something which is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. If you're still liking the series, and I hope that you are, and you guys know what to do, just raise those thumbs. Cheers.